look at this. The beautiful Rolex, Rolex, Rolex. Yo, 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 what's up, people? This your boy, P. Ross, and we back in the building with another video. And what we're going to be rapping about today is my vintage Rolex Shalini. And we're going to kind of get into why people think it's the bastard collection of Rolex. So let's get into it right quick. Rolex Shalini collection takes its name from famed Italian goldsmith and sculptor Benvenuto Cellini. The name was chosen for Rolex's collection of refined and often gem set dress watches as a means to celebrate the elegant lines of impeccable craftsmanship of the artist's work. The production of luxury oriented dress watches may sound like an unusual move for a brand that has built its reputation building high reliable tool watches. Thus, we're talking about the Rolex Submariner, which in itself is a classic. However, it was the clever work of Rene Paul, I'm not gonna even attempt to pronounce that last name, that led to this new shift in direction for the brand. As director of marketing for Rolex, it was Mr. Rene Paul that spearheaded the efforts to craft the narrative of the Rolex collection, creating the premise of owning several Rolex watches for different users at different occasions. The two watch concept, rather than just one watch that would be worn throughout of all life's activities. But you know why I think that uh, the Shalini is the bastard line of Rolex? Um, Not because it's not a good line, because I think that the Shalini line, I've seen a few watches, you know what I mean? And they look great, you know what I mean? But when people think of Rolex, they do not think of a dress watch like the Shalini. When people think of Rolex, they think of the Submariner, maybe the Sea Dweller, maybe the Air King, even the Daytona, you know what I mean? These are watches that people think about when you think about Rolex. They don't think about a dress line of watches that Rolex had or has because in 2022, Rolex discontinued every single Cellini model in the collection except one, the Cellini Moon Phase. But you know what? It's definitely safe to say that the Cellini has been overshadowed by Rolex's other models, especially within the last few decades. And the Cellini has long been Rolex's least popular model. I don't understand it, but you know what? Popularity always wins the contest. But for me, the Shalini line from what I've seen out of this line was a great line. You know what I mean? So, yo, check this out. It's your boy P. Ross. Let me know what y'all think about this vintage Rolex Shalini that I have on my wrist right now. I think it's the bomb shiggity. No doubt about it. You know what I mean? I love the champagne dial. You know what I'm saying? The stainless steel case that it's in. Oh, my God. This thing is so, so dope. So, yo, this your boy P. Ross, and we're about to get up out of here, okay? Yo, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. We're going to be dropping more platinum hits in 2023, and it's on and popping, y'all. Shout out to all the watch enthusiasts. No matter what you rocking, no matter what you doing, yo, keep it funky, and we out. Peace.